Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game for what is the last video in this series on my channel. It's the final round of the 2018 Championship and it all ends in the crazy city of Las Vegas. Now, I love this track. I love watching on TV, so it's going to be interesting to race it here on the official video game. Now, going into the last round, we do have the lead in the 450 category. I think it's like 20 points, so we can still lose it, provided Ryan Dungey wins, but it's going to take a miracle, so we just need to finish the race. We don't have to do anything crazy, just have to get through the heats, hopefully avoid the semi, and get straight into the main event and just finish somewhere in like the top 10 to 15 places and hope that Dungey doesn't win. So that's basically the situation going into this race. Now we are going to be taking part in the 250 as per usual. Uh, I'm not quite sure which category. I mean, I know in the last round in real life, they uh, the 250 category com like combine the East and West. So I'm not quite sure what the deal is here on the official video game, but we'll just race in whatever category is. Uh, <laughs> it says we can, I suppose. Alrighty, that's enough talk. Without any further ado, we'll jump straight into this 250 heat race. And hopefully we can kick the night off to a good start and hopefully end this series on a high. Here comes another gate drop. This time, it will start the second 250 heat race of the day. Where once again, only the first nine riders will earn that highly coveted ticket straight to the main event. Alrighty, here we go. First heat race of the night, and it is the 250 category. We've managed to put it on the pole once again in this category. Although this track is not quite as easy as what we experienced in Salt Lake City last week. So I'm actually probably going to go with that first gate choice today, as there's nothing really in our way heading into turn one. But as you can see there, pole from Savachi in third, and Smith, Ferrandis, Martin and a couple of other guys that I don't really recognize. I haven't been following the the uh, East too much. I more follow the West, to be honest, as I did used to live in Los Angeles for a little bit and whatnot when I was following the AMA, or Monster Energy Supercross, as it's known. All right, here we go. Sam Boyd Stadium, first heat race of the night in the 250s. Here we go. Average. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, hold on to it. Oh, whole shot. Oh, not quite. Thought I had it. Opa! Jeez, that's a massive jump leading to nothing. <laughs> now, I've been struggling on the straights, so we're going to have to do our best to try and keep it in the lead. As you can see, here comes Savachi. Ah, came up short. Head down, let's go. God, that's a really, really awkward section. It's basically just flat out into whoops before you lead into a really, really nasty sort of uh, like right hand corner before the finish, and it's really tight, so you sort of have to get it slowed down mid whoops. It's really, really difficult. I uh, just can't get this this section, this rhythm section here, I'm struggling with the whole way through practice. As you can see, it's sort of a bit messy and unrealistic, but we still have pace. We actually managed to grab pole by two seconds in the end, which is a lot, but not all that much considering this track is, you know, the longest track on the calendar. It's the only track, I believe, that we go outside the stadium in, to my knowledge anyway. I only did the... well, I actually had to miss the first couple of rounds due to the game not being released yet. Ugh, come on, Joseph, get that right. Ugh. Horrible. Ugh. 
Uh, oh, come on. Get out. Way. Oh, wow. That just happened. That's a really... Because you sort of have to get squared up for that jump at high speed, so if you don't get it squared up right, then you will end up in the tough blocks like we were. Oh, god damn. I actually reckon it's gonna... Usually it's easier these past couple of rounds to... The riding's been a lot easier in the 250 categories versus the 450, but... I reckon here we're sort of lacking just enough power to make some of these triples work. So I think it's probably gonna be easy in the 450 category. Nice, gonna make that. Oh, not quite. There we go, that's better. So sketchy that corner. Ah oh, no. So when you get that section wrong, you end up losing so much time. You really have to sort of get on the top of those little tabletops things. I think if that was real life we'd be dead, but thankfully this game's not quite as realistic as <laughs> what it is in real life when you land sort of on a flat. I can't quite make that. Alright, last lap here. Boom! Big win there in heat race number two for the 250s. How much did we get it by in the end? I wasn't looking at the gaps. Six and a half seconds. Up. Let's take a quick look at the results and the names of the four riders who will be moving on to the main event. Alrighty, there we go. Six and a half seconds over Savachi there. And quite a big gap onto third, so... Big win, awesome race, now on to the 450 heat race, where hopefully we can do the same. It's time now for the final 450 heat race. Four more riders will transfer out of this heat straight to the main event. You want to get one of those highly coveted transfer spots locked in now, so you don't have to race your way through the semi. Alrighty, here we go, heat race number two. This is the 450 category where we've just managed to put it on pole once again, although this time only by half a second, which around here is virtually nothing. So it's going to be interesting to see if we can hold on to it here in this heat race. We've got Marvin Muscan in number two, or well, the number two position, then Dungey in third, Cooper Webb in fourth, Millsaps fifth, Chad Reed sixth, Malcolm Stewart seven. So definitely a star studded lineup here in heat race number two. Let's see if we can somehow get a victory because we're going to need to get straight into this main event. We don't want to get caught napping in the semis tonight. Ah, 
have caught napping on the start. Oh, took a big shunt from behind, and that's going to give us second. Almost had the whole shot. Oh, come on, get this section right, Joseph. Oh, I'm just going to come short. That's right. We're alive. And we got a lead. <laughs> Maxing out on the revs. 450 Yamaha will not go any quicker than that. Right, I'm just gonna put our head down and focus on making a gap. Start to the lap. Uh, Jackson Trot in third. What a start. Ben Martin fourth. A couple of big names must be way down the back of the field. Muscan's the only one I know in the top sort of five right now. First mistake we made, but not too bad. Alright, 
last lap in this heat race. Shit. Oh, messed this up again. Actually didn't turn out all that bad in the end. figure out whether ch jumping that jump as long as possible and landing like halfway around the corner is actually quicker than slowing up and being on the ground sort of thing and just I don't know, I haven't quite figured it out yet. Ah oh, shit. Wrong gear. Oh wow, okay, someone's had an interesting go of those. Maybe me actually, I know I clipped him but I didn't think I hit all of them. <laughs> So Muscans actually caught us up a little bit in that last lap. Wow, okay, that's interesting. We grabbed the win, but Marvin Muscan actually caught us up on that last lap. He, I think he gained probably half a second or so. That's really interesting. Here are the final results for the second 450 heat race. The first four riders will have the opportunity to move on directly to the main event while the rest of the field will be back on the track soon, battling it out in the semis. All right, so you heard it. We managed to get straight through to the main event. Now, Marvin Muscan, though, is actually not too far off our pace, so we're just going to have to try and get away like what we did in the early running of this heat race. Cooper Webb, third. Chad Reed will get straight through to the main event as well in fourth. Mack and Stewart, sixth. Millsaps down in twelfth. And yeah, Ryan Dungey down in 17th, so our championship rival not even in the main event as yet. So this is going to be an interesting one. Las Vegas, it's a city well known for crowning champions. Hi everybody, I'm Ralph Shaheen. Live at Sam Boyd Stadium, the racers are trying to pump themselves up, visualizing how the race will unfold. Who will shine in the bright lights of the stadium tonight? Are you ready for the Monster Energy AMA Supercross and FIM World Championship main event? The Nevada Desert will roar to life as we drop the game. You can hear the cheer. He is the crowd favorite. Will that be too much pressure or the motivation for him to get the win? All right, here we go. Main event time. Selecting that same inside gate as we had in the heat race. Alrighty, here we go. Time to wrap it up for this season in the 250 category here at Sam Boyd Stadium. At, well, in Las Vegas. Alrighty, here we go. Let's try and win the final one of the year. Oh no, <laughs> I've done myself already. Oh god. Oh, out, squeeze. Alright, that's a decent rhythm section. Back up into ninth. Opa. Fastest section of the year. I love. I must admit, I love watching this in on TV. I couldn't imagine how quick these guys would be going in real life, especially on like a dirt bike. And then they have to get it all stopped and hopefully not screw up the rhythm section like I have. Oh wow. Oh no. Fuck, screwed over by the Kawasaki. I think that was Savachi actually. Oh, we're gonna have to fight for this one. Down to 14. Ow. Oh wow, what the f <laughs> What just happened? <laughs> that was like 
wow, we just, this game just went full retard. Oh my god, we're like almost dead last. Come on, Joseph. Oh, pardon me. Nice, nailed that one. Oh, we've dropped a long way down. It's going to take a massive comeback to win it. Oh my god, wow! Man, it is all going off tonight in Las Vegas in this main event. I'm going to have to watch the replay of this one. This is crazy. Alright, up into eight. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no. Ah, oh, shit, that screwed us up. Can't quite see who that was. Oh, nice. Pretty much now that one. Alright, Savachi and Cianzarula ahead. Still in sixth though, so there must be... Oh yeah, there's a couple of guys in front of them. Actually, Ferrandez, I think, has just gone down. Come on, head down, there's Boogie. Nice. Alright, back inside the top five, triple that. Oh, well, we're up into third. I can't see Os Osborne though, so he must be quite a way ahead. Actually, there he is, just saw him go over that jump. Man, he's cleared this pack out. Come on, let's go. Wow! Far out! Come on, we're both on Yamaha, it's supposed to be working together. Wrecked out. Ow. Alright, halfway through, come on. Trying to get that rhythm section right best I can. Alright, come on. Let's see if we can actually pull this move off this time. We have the pace. Section again, come on, Joseph. Oh, 
Come on, frame rate. God, this game has so many issues with it. Nice, come on. Beautiful. Oh, nailed that section. Damn, that's gonna be a quick one. Whoop, uh, gosh, over jumped that, something terrible. I switched to first instead of second. Oops. Come on, he's right there. We've got two minutes to get him. Ah, oh, shit. 118.5. Wow, that's the quickest lap of the night. My best before then was a 119.3, I think, in qualifying. So that nailed, well, just destroyed that lap. Uh, came up short there. We're in the lead. Come on, let's go. Oh. Ah, shit. Turned in too late. It's so hard to control these things with a controller. Come on, go you good thing. Oh shit, here he is. Oh no. Oh my god, why is there a tough block in the middle of the road? Oh, that screwed us up. Whoopa. Come on, I've got to nail this. Got him. Ah, oh, shit. To double through this section now. Alright, that's good. We got him now, come on. Shit, so much quicker than us in a straight line. Come on, get that triple. Yes! We have to go to the high side of that top block again. Oh, that's threading the needle there, bloody hell. Oh, we got him now. So in case you're wondering why the screen keeps sort of stuttering, that's actually not my recording software or anything, that is the game. This game seems to have quite a lot of uh, frame rate issues, I don't know why. I mean, I'm on a regular PS4, so I'm not any, on a PS4 Pro or anything with a flashy graphics card in it, but yeah, I wish they would fix that. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, 
Oh, wow. That's miles in the air. Alright, last time through this section. Here we go. And one, and two, and three, and stop. Ah, oh, God, I always fucking hate this section. Last time through the... Oh, we hit it that time, damn it. I <laughs> couldn't thread the needle that time. Alright, it's alright. We got, we got a big enough gap to not have to worry. There's Ferrandis in third. Just saw him go by on the Yamaha. Come on. Oh, wow, more... Actually, I think that was our fault that time. <laughs> it's just tough blocks lined everywhere. Alright, last corner. Come on. Woohoo! Well, another big win in the bleh, big win in the 250, and we have capped off the season in a very good way. That was an incredible race, proving once again just how competitive the 250 class is. Let's take a look at the final results. So 6.9 seconds in the end over Osborne, although we had to come from quite a long way back, I must admit. So definitely the pace helped us. That lap time there at the end was fantastic effort by these riders they put on a great show the way they battled here tonight all right guys there we have it another win in the 250 category now on to the main event in the 450s where hopefully we can win this championship las vegas it's a city well known for crowning champion hi everybody i'm ralph shaheen Live at Sam Boyd Stadium, the racers are trying to pump themselves up, visualizing how the race will unfold. Who will shine in the bright lights of the stadium tonight? Are you ready for the Monster Energy AMA Supercross and FIM World Championship main event? The Nevada Desert will roar to life as we drop the gate. He has the speed and the style that makes him a fan favorite. Alrighty, so as you can see there, big red plate on the 132 Yamaha bike. It's an awesome thing to have going into this final round. Definitely relieves some of the pressure having a 20 point gap. Now, the championship situation right now, uh, for those that missed it at the start of the video, is we are 20 points ahead of Dungey in, well, in the lead, and Dungey being in second. As you can see there, Dungey is starting off with ninth on that one bike, so hopefully if we can just do what we did in the heat race, get our head down and pull away, uh, we should be able to not have to worry about anyone behind us, but it's all going to be about that start. Hopefully we don't do the same thing as what we did in the 250 race, because that was a fail to say the least, but now our pace is not quite as good as what it was in the 250s. We did actually slightly get caught up at one point by Muscan in the heat race, so hopefully Roxon, Muscan, Anderson and maybe Dungey will not quite have the same pace as what they did in the heats. Alright, here we go, main event time, last main event for the season, last race on my channel for the motocross, uh, Monster Energy Motocross or Supercross series. Here we go, time to cap it off. Poor start once again. Forcing through, come on. Alright, that's a good start. Oh, went very long there. Right, so we just have to finish this race in the top 15 and we'll be fine. Oh 
no. Oh, get it together, Joseph. Make that triple. Ah, oh, no. God, it went the whole heat race without any mistakes at all, and I've got it screwed up the first rhythm section. Yamaha teammate behind us, Skip Webb. Still no sign of Dungey though, so that's good. Much better. Nice scan drop back. Alright, so we've got five seconds now on web. This is good. Gonna keep pulling away. Still got a long way to go though. seem to have a bit more pace in this uh, main event than what we had in the heat race. Not quite keeping up as well as what they did. Although Dungey's now up into four, so here he comes. I honestly can't decide which one's better, whether jumping that long and landing halfway around the corner or sort of stopping at the at the top of the jump and, and getting the drive down off of it, staying on the ground longer sort of thing, versus staying in the air longer. Can't quite make me longer. Ah, shit. Very nice. Ah, shit. Alright, 
Alright, so we're holding a steady 13 second lead from Webb. Dungey's up to third now. Just seen Ken Roxon pop into the top five for the first time. Actually, Dungey's must have just gone down because he's just dropped back. Oh shit, I overjumped that. Something terrible. Ah! Oh god, I knew that was going to happen. I'm surprised I didn't do that earlier in the night. <laughs> Focus. Three minutes to go. Been an awful couple of laps, I must admit. <laughs> Riding like crap. That's better. Alright, one and a half minutes until we get the championship. Come on. Remember that. Oh shit, I knew that was going to happen. Oh wow. Wow, I did not know there was concrete there. Alright, never mind, we're back on. That would have been... us to a funeral. Last lap, here we go. Come on. The red plate awaits. Last corner of the year. 
get you some. Woohoo! Oh, and a special 360 to finish it off. <laughs> what a great oh my race. gosh, we've done it. That 450 main event was epic. The adrenaline was pumping with the riders, and the fans were on their feet the whole race. While we catch our breath, let's check the final results. Alright guys, so there you have it. 190 points is what we ended up on. We managed to get the win over Ryan Dungey in the championship and Ken Roxon there coming in third. So, wow, what a series it has been. What a season. It's been quite an adventure. Unfortunately, for some reason it says YZ250F there. I don't. I just noticed that that's not right. But <laughs> anyway, there are quite a few glitches on this game that they, I hope they sort out for next year. But nonetheless, it's been a really fun season. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. just want to thank everyone that has tuned in, viewed, liked, and subscribed to this series. And until next time, I will catch you guys later. He fought hard, and now he is the new Monster Energy AMA Supercross and FIM World Champion. I'm Ralph Shaheen. So long, everybody. We'll see you next.